Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a productive cannabis connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today I decided to do a show for these shows that I create a video for the show that I create called Moved In Now What. Moved In Now What is basically a show that I created after I made Moved In Now from me moving from a house to an apartment. So it's pretty much showing the contrast from living in a house to living in a one bedroom apartment which has been really cramped and quite uncomfortable and quite the adjustment to get used to. Um, not being able to plant a garden has been a pain in the ass. Uh, we've got aloe vera, an aloe vera plant, actually two of them in one pot outside our door. <laughs> and uh, that's about, that's it. You know, and a few plants inside, but that's it. Uh, we haven't been able to grow any kind of medicinal herbs really so it's like oh my my cat just dived into the hamper <laughs> so it's been really fucking stressful in that regard because i'd love to be able to grow again grow cannabis again my own medicine because shopping at dispensaries medical whether it's medical or recreational it's not within my price range to be shelling out money like this month month after month i do get discounts here and there but I still feel like the price of cannabis is like way beyond where it should be so without further ado talking all that I'm gonna grab a joint to smoke I rolled a joint actually I have another joint that I have going let me just do this one it's rolled from Sugar Shake and that's something that I buy from my medical cannabis delivery service I've been buying that lately um, you don't know what sugar shake it is is the if you grow a cannabis plant it's the little tiny nugs uh sugary leaves and the stems take the stems put them aside for a stem tea then you could take the um the nugs and the leaves and make uh edibles roll a joint with them or make uh savory dishes medicated savory dishes and those are very very potent uh some people take the stems and make uh a tincture from the stems by uh just pouring uh alcohol into a bottle with a full of stems and letting it sit for for quite a while until all the goodness comes off of those stems and enters into the alcohol and they mix together and then you got yourself a tincture some people do it with the actual straight up just herb to make tinctures so anyway i'll go through the whole tincture thing with you guys on another video because i think we're going to be making me and my husband will be making some uh soon because I've got a good healthy amount of stems that I've saved. So, <laughs> alrighty guys, enough for this chatterbox. Cheers, thanks for uh, joining me this evening. Whew, that's good. What time is it? Oh, it's not even nine o'clock. Uh, so, yeah. We've been having, I've talked about this on other episodes of Moved In Now What, that there's been a lot of noise here because of the, the renovations, the construction that's constantly going on. Um, it's just gotten to a ridiculous all-time high of, lo, of, uh, of uh, noise around here. And then one night, uh, <laughs> I laugh because <laughs> I can only laugh. If I laugh, don't laugh, then... How else am I going to get through this? <laughs> but there was one night when I was taking dabs and um, I heard uh, a bunch of commotion and I heard a helicopter circling around and then heard a, you saw like kind of like you see a little bit of outline of cops going past, guys in uniform going past my window as I'm dabbing and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on here? And there's just lots of commotion and craziness. And talk about anxiety. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
at the time I was relaxed because I had the dab, but then at the same time I was trying, what was going on felt like I was trying to enter in and harsh my buzz, <laughs> making me feel like trying to make me feel paranoid and scared. And the way to solve that, I thought at the time, and I think it worked really well, is to do another dab. <laughs> Because, you know, what I'm doing isn't against the law. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I have a recommendation. Uh, cannabis is legal on the state level, um, medicinally and recreationally uh, on the state level, but not the federal level. So um, they're not really going to be too concerned about entering someone's home, confiscate their, their dab rig and their torch. <laughs> but because cannabis has such a stigma still on it, and it's still persecuted it's still like people are still left with this paranoia you know so yeah so that was really really some crazy crazy stuff that happened with that and then all of, uh, was it Sunday or Monday? It must have been Sunday. Yeah, all of Sunday, it was just so noisy here. Uh, Saturday especially. Um, and they were supposed to, they left a, management left a note on our, outside of our door, letting us know that they are going to turn off the water yesterday. And that the water is going to, so it went, I went down there to go pay my rent, and the office was closed. I needed to fill up my laundry card, too. And the machine to fill up my laundry card is inside of the management office. So I could I had to wait on, or my, my son had to wait on doing his linens, and I had to wait on doing the rest of my laundry. And I'm not somebody who has a huge wardrobe, so <laughs> when I run out of laundry, I run out of laundry. So it's like, shit. And I still wanted to do my linens, too, because I like to have fresh, clean linens. But that wasn't happening. That just was not happening yesterday because I didn't show up. Um, I don't make these videos or didn't create this show just so that I can complain about any old thing. I'm, claiming, I'm talking about things that are just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, and as it is now, coming back to the whole laundry uh the whole laundry card thing as it is with the whole laundry card business and the laundry room itself here um, the last time I went to go do laundry here uh, one of the wa the dryers another one of the dryers is broken like there's one dryer door where the door you can't even close it and then another dryer uh, the one of the buttons like the colors for selecting you know which you know whether you want colors, permanent press, whatever, the color button is broken. So you have to pick permanent press. <laughs> and then, like, there's only, there's a four, there's four dryers, and there's, is it four washers? I think it's five washers in one room. And then there's two different laundry rooms. So it's just like, ah. Uh... <laughs> it's frustrating for me, this transition from, living in a house to live in an apartment because we had a washer and dryer so I didn't have to worry about this and actually it's just a lot more expensive of course <laughs> to do this so it's stressful because I was thinking well what am I gonna am I gonna have enough money to do laundry you know it's like trying to make sure I save this amount of money over for laundry is just like been crazy and um, my husband got recently got promoted to another job this is with the same company but he's working in a different location and the location he's working in uh, is a lot further from where we live now which I talked about before and <clears throat> we're trying to think see if we could find a place there and where he works at now the area is a lot more beautiful and and pristine than where we live in here and so that means it's going to cost more money. <laughs> so we may not try to find somewhere that's right where he's working, but maybe somewhere else other than here that's nicer because it's just it's just really depressing over here. It really is. And um, I do my mantras in the day and 
you know, set about my business and get along with what I have to do. But um, it's been quite a challenge. I think my cat wants to leave. Hold on, I'll be right back. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> but that's that's a little bit of what's going on with me. And uh, there was somebody that recently left a comment saying that about how they watched one of the video, watching the video, and it made them feel depressed. Um, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to share what's going on with me. I'm a real life person. I'm not a fake and phony person. I have hard, I have lows and I have highs. I have bad days and I have good days. And I share this with you as a medical cannabis patient, letting you know this is real. I, I was diagnosed with PTSD based on the traumas that I experienced as a child and the, the experiences that I had in the military. And you can read not read, <laughs> you can, I haven't read, I haven't wrote a book and published it yet, but you can uh, watch the video where I talk about my army experience and what it did to me and what I learned from it and what happened. These crazy, with some crazy dramatic shit that went down when I was in the military. So I'm not here to bring people down. I'm here p for people to see the reality of what's really going on in this world that not everybody that's smoking cannabis is living like Snoop Dogg or is um, or things are just coming to them handed on a silver platter so this is realistic and this might be too real for some people so for those people I say maybe not watch it because that's just how this channel is going to be and it's how it's always been if you look at my past videos I, I just I'm, I am how I am, <laughs> and that's all there is to it, so cheers to that, everyone. I'm not saying this to be mean to the person that commented and said that. Maybe this person was having a bad day or is having a bad day, and they feel depressed. So maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's about them. So, um, And maybe it is also, and I know some people may not want me to hear me say this, maybe Mercury retrograde does have an effect on people's moods and what they say and do. No. <laughs> Whether you want to disagree with that or not, that's fine. You can go right ahead and do that. But I've had firsthand experience with what's going on with Mercury retrograde. And people tend to act a little differently during this phase. They do. I'm not saying that all is going to be doom and gloom during Mercury retrograde. I'm just saying... You have to watch how, and this is something you should do all the time, but even more especially, you have to watch how you talk to people, how you communicate with others, because a lot of times people will misunderstand what you're trying to say. Sometimes silence is golden, just don't say anything. <laughs> and that goes for all the time, really. If you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all to, that, to whoever it is. Maybe that's the best bet. <laughs> so... I appreciate each and every one of you that come to this channel and watch the videos on here. And um, I am who I am, you know. I'm just not like, I'm not going to be fake and phony about who I am and what I'm all about. So, and if that's something people don't want to watch, then, you know, people have choices. It's no big deal. There's no hard feelings there. <laughs> So anyway, thank you for joining me for another episode of Moved In Now What. Um, I, I feel like so many things have been happening that have been a little bit discouraging, but I've found a way to bring myself back up again. I've been meditating a lot and partaking in herb when I meditate and creating artwork, and that's been very helpful and therapeutic to me, and it's made me feel really good. Uh, and i just like to share that with you all. And that's why I made this channel, created this channel anyway, to show you how cannabis has helped me a lot to, to adapt to so many crazy things that have been happening in my world. It has. It's been helping me tremendously. It's helping me to see the, the light. <laughs> the light was in the dark, you know, because there's a lot of dark. But being able to see that light within the dark gives me hope and keeps me... Um, continuing to do what it is that I do every day, you know, so 
thanks so much everyone for your support I really appreciate it um, and keep the questions coming cannabis has been so therapeutic for me throughout this this transition and uh, it should be more than transition because in April we'll be coming up on living in this apartment complex for a year and um, I really don't want to have to live here another full year because there's a lot of issues other than the noise here that I really don't really don't enjoy so I'm positive in thinking that I'm going to find something better definitely because I really don't see myself my family living here for another year um, what I'd like to get is into a home <laughs> an actual house uh, where I can grow what I want to grow <laughs> and be able to you know live life a little bit more at ease so those are the kind of things I think of when I meditate at night <laughs> really pleasant optimistic thoughts and visualizations of what it is I want to see in my world and thank you for coming with me and sharing my world you know and just a little bit of my world at least <laughs> So, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you are going through something similar with uh, not wanting to live in an apartment, wanting to live in a house. You've lived in a house and you know that you like living in a house better than an apartment. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> until next time. If you'd like to support this channel, you could donate to my PayPal or my Google Pay. I'll have the links in the description below. Um, if you donate to this channel, I can create a video of your, cho your choosing, whatever topic you want to talk about on this channel. I can make a video of it. Or I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you. So either one can be done. <laughs> so brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.